sure enjoyed presenting the top of the pops last night but you know on live television there's a lot of things that happen that you viewers out there really aren't aware of for instance for instance the other night when we did the karate routine you know uh donnie really bruised his hand didn't you donnie uh it was just a little bit a little bit <laughs> would you guys actually believe he held this girl by the hand she kept quiet and he screamed <laughs> Yeah, well, hopefully by now, you're all getting a chance to know us each a little bit better. Hey, Alan? And Alan? Yeah? They're getting to know me better. <laughs> well, that, that's great, but uh, uh, let me ask you, how can you tell? Well, you see those girls right up there? Uh, yeah, yeah, what about them? They keep saying, I love what's his name? <laughs> it's Wayne! <laughs> anyway, we'd like to say at this moment, so we've been receiving a lot of mail from all over Britain, and it really is great to know that you're all enjoying these live shows. Yeah, really. And the presents, they're just fantastic. Thank you very much. We really are. Yeah. You know, we really love it here in Britain. We really do. You know, those winding country lanes and the rolling countryside and the birds. <laughs> hey, Donnie, don't you know in Britain the word bird usually means girls? Oh, does it? You know it does. <laughs> anyway, right now, Donnie would like to ask y'all a question. Is that okay if Donnie asks you a question? Are you lonesome tonight? Are you lonesome tonight? Will you miss me tonight? Are you sorry? Does your memory stray to a bright summer day when I kissed you and called you sweetheart? Do the chairs in your parlor seem empty and bare? Do you gaze? You know, someone once said the world's a stage, and each must play a part. Fate had me playing in love with you as my sweetheart. Act one was when we met. You read your lines so cleverly, and never missed the cue. 
then came act two. You seemed to change, you acted strange. And why? I've never known. Honey, you lied when you said you loved me. And I had no cause to doubt you. But I'd rather go on hearing your lies than to go on living without you. Now the stage is bare, and I'm standing there with emptiness all around. And if you don't come back to me, then they can bring the curtain down. Of course, it's Donny getting a very positive answer to Are You Lonesome Tonight? <laughs> Friday night is Alan and Merrill night, and uh, watching the programmes all this week, and particularly watching you very closely while you're rehearsing, Alan. Is that I right? I get the impression that you're very much the shop steward in the outfit. Well, I, I try to be, you know. The, in our family, we believe in the patriarchal order, like in our church, and it's whoever's the oldest is in mm -hmm. charge. And so for 17 years now, I guess I've been in charge. Have you had any tuition on the musical side, or is this just something that's developed and you fixed it all up? Oh, I, I, love, uh, I love the business. In fact, uh, I, 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 I'm getting more involved in it all the time, producing not only our group, but uh, a lot of other groups want to get involved in producing. We have a recording studio in our home in Utah that's mm -hmm. a 24-track. Uh, Wayne's the engineer, and Wayne and Donnie wired all the board and everything. So. Yeah. So, so as you can, you can tell that we are branching out within the business itself, and we love it. Could you ever see a stage where you moved away from performing? I mean, you're the oldest, you'll be the first to make a move, presumably. Could you ever see a stage where you were a producer in your own right? Well, as far as performing... <laughs> There's the answer. Well, that, they're right. As far as performing, we would like to remain together as a group, but we are, we're branching out together and becoming a producing team, and we hope to be able to produce television shows, records, albums... Uh, <laughs> In fact, uh, we're writing the, uh, we have a picture coming out, a movie for ourselves, and we'll be writing the music, we'll be writing the music for the film and scoring it and getting involved in that production as well. Mm -hmm. I see. Merrill. <laughs> How's the future uh, on the Merrill side of the family? Oh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you see yourself doing in the years to come? I mean, you can't always just carry I, on doing... I thought I'd be a plumber. A plumber? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm going to keep going with the group, you bet. Watching you perform, you've got this magnificent voice, a very strong voice. You would make an excellent rock singer. Have you any uh, ideas in that particular line? That's interesting. You know, we've done a lot of records uh, that ha people haven't heard yet. Mm -hmm. In fact, we've got some comments saying that it sounds like Rod Stewart or Led Zeppelin or, you know, the really... <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to hear some of that? Yeah! <laughs> I must, I must say, Merrill does have a style with his voice that yeah. he creates himself. I've never seen him follow or try to pattern after anyone, but uh, 
he, he of all the group uh, has a, a really strong. On Wednesday, I was talking to to Donnie about dating. <laughs> yeah. You, of course, got married, what, over a year ago. That's right. Uh, did you have any problems finding a wife, choosing the right one? Well, it was, it was hard dating on the road. Mm -hmm. But like in Utah, uh, we don't do any concerts there. Mm -hmm. And the, the kids that I've grown up with are in that valley. Yeah. So they, I'm just another guy to them. I see. So mm -hmm. We live right by the Brigham Young University, so there are, hey, there are, there are a lot of around. people. Yeah. Have your wives ever come on a TV program and talk with you? No. They've never been on television before. Can we, can we manage... Can we manage a TV first? Yeah. Good evening. Here we go. First time on TV. Mary and Suzanne, welcome. Can I ask you first of all, Mary, as the uh, as the Mrs. Merrill Osmond of well over a year now, do you follow Merrill's progress all the time? Do you go to all the concerts with it? Oh yes, for the whole year. You know, I've been right with him. I think I've seen every show and every concert. Mm -hmm. And you've only been married for just a few weeks, haven't you, Suzanne? One month today. One month today. Do you, do you, have you seen all the numbers that the boys have done? Uh, well, we've only been married a month, and so mm. <laughs> what performing he has been in that time, I've seen them all. It's funny. In fact, the show that's being live here, she, a lot of the numbers she hasn't seen. For instance, the next number we're going to do, she hasn't even seen that. Splendid. Well, let's see it right now. You, you want it? Right okay. Well, we... We won't actually charge them money for the uh, seats, but here we go with the Osmonds and a medley from Fiddler on the Roof.
together. Mary, can I ask you, uh, how do you and Meryl get away from it all? And there's a lot of pressures on touring. Sometimes it is hard, you know, because he is rather busy, but there's lots of times we can, you know, get away. We've gone and seen a lot of the sites, and we've gone shopping, and I don't spend all these money. <laughs> yeah, this is a vicious rumor that you're, you're quite yeah, uh, extravagant. I, I mean, yeah. Where, where would be your ideal place to sort of have a relaxing day when you're at home in Utah? Ah, uh, we, we live really close to a beautiful canyon, mm -hmm. and we like to drive up the canyon that's pretty and green, and there's a river flowing, and we like to just sit by the river yeah. and watch it kind of go by. <laughs> Suzanne, a really rotten question, because you've only been married for a month, you've only been an Osman for a month, but uh, how do you think the fans regard you and me? Thank you! Oh, I've received just boxes of letters from the fans, and they've just been filled with congratulations and love, and I just appreciate it so much. Yeah! Do you do shopping? Have you been shopping since you've been over here Mary in London? Mary and I have done an awful lot of shopping, but we think that we're pretty good shoppers, and we find all the bargains that there are here in London. Very good. It's better shopping over here than it is in the States, would you? Oh, have? much better selection. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the fashion thing. Is that's the, that's the most interesting thing about London, is it? Up the King's Road and, oh, King's and Bond Road Street and Beavers. And one big awkward question: Would you like a big shows, showbiz family of your own? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, the year I've been watching Meryl, it's hard work. Are you ever, are you ever going to join the boys in the act? Uh, I don't think so. No. <laughs> All right. We both feel that our role is mothers and and wives in the home. Mm -hmm. Fine. Well, thank you very much indeed for coming on the program. I hope you, I hope you thoroughly enjoyed your very first TV interview. <laughs> right now, we're going to get together with Donny and Marie and the morning side of the magic. Yeah. 
We've done on each of the shows this week. We're going to end with a really rocking number. The Osmonds are going to take us down to the hoedown. But right now, to get us underway, a little bit of singing in the rain. And Gene Kelly never looked this good.
joining us this evening. Our sister Marie thanks you. And my brothers, Jimmy, Donnie, Jay, Meryl, and uh, uh, what's his name? Stay tuned tomorrow when we'll be with you with our final show here at the BBC. Until then, take care and may God bless you all. Good night.